every time Bear Grylls does something, it is pretty crazy. So he does stunts like jumps from a tree, rugby tackles a cow to the ground and kills it, and also chickens. Hey guys, JSQ here and welcome to another mod showcase. Now this one will be revealed shortly, but before I show you anything, I need to go hunting Bear grill style. I am uh, gonna hide in a tree and find some prey down here. Because I'm pretty sure every time Bear Grylls does something, it is pretty crazy. So he does stunts like jumps from a tree, rugby tackles a cow to the ground and kills it, and also chickens. Yes, die all these chickens and cows. Oh my god, there's lots of cows. Yum nom nom. And chickens. Nom. Well, yeah guys, this is the <laughs> Starvation Ahoy mod. And what this is, is a pretty much a nice little hunger addition to uh, Minecraft. It's still in development, I think, so it doesn't have many recipes at the moment. So I just want to show you it because it's pretty awesome. It stuck out to me because it does add a really nice uh, layer of hung. Well, a new layer of, a, I don't know what the word is, a new layer of gameplay to the game, I'd say. But um, yeah, as you saw, I was killing all those animals. They were dropping these things called cow carcass and chicken carcass instead of their normal, their normal drops. Like cows would drop um, raw beef and leather. Basically, everything just drops these carcasses now of it. I think they only do certain mobs in the game. I think there's only uh, there's only chickens, pigs, cows, sheep, and rabbit that do this at the moment. Obviously, it might be expanded in the future, but yeah, I just want to show you that. Now, you may have just seen I've I've ran into my my house of my house of bear grillsness, and this is where my my hideout will be whilst cutting up my animals. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> So what I'm going to do is show you how this mod works. So as you see, I just killed some cows. That is the very start. Um, we'll do it with some cows, I guess. We may do some chickens, maybe. Um, but yeah, what I need to do... I've messed up already. Every time... If you guys have ever watched some of the mod showcases of mine, I always forget something when setting up. I'm like, right, yes, I've built my house, put all these hangers up, hung all this stuff on there and the animals, set up all my little parts to show you guys, set up my chest with all the stuff in. But there's always one thing I forget to do. And that is, in this case, I need to just put these up there um, I need a hanger yeah it is called a hanger uh, why is it hanging there no hang there okay that'll do um, actually do I really need to meet hanger okay no I don't I've just realized why I didn't put one up okay I forgot what I was doing guys um, yeah once you've got your carcasses um, what you then need to do is let's take oh god's sake me god damn it Bear Grylls doesn't hit his house down like that, does he? God's sake. Um, how'd you get these things off? Okay, I'm just going to break that. And then put a new one up. Okay, this is going well, isn't it? <laughs> right, so these meat hangers, I don't think they have a recipe yet. So what you need to do is actually make one. Somehow. <laughs> like I said, they don't have a recipe, so in the future they'll be developed to, to get a recipe. So if you ever do want to play with this mod, I'd recommend just spawning them in before you start the game and just whacking them all in a chest and playing with them that way. Um, but yeah, what I want to show you guys is once you've got a cow carcass, you can then right click on it and it will it will hang the cow up on the wall like this. It's awesome. Like you would no like a butcher would normally. Now we've got a burnt cow going over on this spit roast now, so if, obviously if you if you do keep them on there for too long, they will um, they will burn to death. So they're already dead, I hope. <laughs> so yeah, um, once you've hung it up, you need then need a a fillet knife, which again don't I don't think is a recipe for. You can go on the mod page and possibly find recipes. But um, I, I looked before and I don't think there was any, but there may be at some point in the future, so I'll, I'll definitely check again. Um, and yeah, once you've got this fillet knife, you want to right click on your carcass and it will drop. It drops. It's dropped me three levers, so that's that's quite a high amount for a cow, I think. 
I think they they do drop random amounts normally, but they do give you a lot more. Um, what's it called? Items doing it this way. So if you guys go, oh yeah, it drops the same stuff as you do normally whilst killing one. I'm like, no, it doesn't. It gives you more of the items than just killing it, doing it this way. So yeah, um, once you've actually skinned your animal, what you can do is then just hit it off, off there, and it will give you a skinned cow now with this skin cow you want to put on one of these spit roasts so I'm going to show you how to make a spit roast I'm going to take that one off that was burning there um, so you need a spit roast stand two of those sorry um, and you need a skin or whatever your skin is and you need a stick and then once you've put your two spit roast stands by, side by side over a fire like this, I've got some never rack down there and I've lit them with a flint and steel so there's unlimited fire and I've also got a chimney because it was setting my roof on fire. So yeah, what you want to do is right click with the stick in between the two stands and it will connect them together and turn it into a spit roast. And then what you want to do is right click on the spit roast with your cow and it will start cooking. Now I'm not sure how long it actually takes for it to cook. Um, this process is the same for all of these animals, so it'll work for the pig, the chicken, the sheep, um, what's this, a rabbit as well. So, um, yeah. What else is there? Right, whilst that's cooking, I'm going to show you this over here. What these are, I'm going to take this cow off the stand. Let me just take that off because he's going to intrude. Oh no, I've just broke my chest. Put it all back. Man, this is definitely going to plan. <laughs> right, let's put all that back. And that, and that, and that. Right, so over here we've got... I'm going to switch to game mode zero because we'll need to for this. Over here we've got some carrots and um, potatoes. Basically, there's crops like this. If you if you hit at the ground, it won't give you just a normal carrot. It'll give you a dirty carrot. I don't think you can plant them again, no. Um, it will give you a dirty carrot. Now what you need to do with this is you need these buckets. These are called I think they're just called I think they're just called buckets. Let me just double check that for you guys. God it's so hard not having um not enough items. Mod I could just whacked out the search bar and showed you. Um right, it is called the washing barrel. Now what you do with the washing barrel is just right click with your carrot and it will give you however many carrots you've got in there. Um, but you get the washing barrel straight away and then um, you have to fill it with a bucket of water so you don't get it with water in and then once you've right clicked with your carrot or say let me switch back to game mode zero my dirty potatoes and then right click with them you'll get you get your potatoes um, undirtied or cleaned and um, I think they're a bit I think you can eat them dirty but it doesn't heal as much so if you just get one of these washing barrels and clean them then it will heal more hearts once you've got a normal harrot. Harrot? What am I saying? But yeah, um, whilst that's still cooking, I'm. Uh, I don't. I think that's done. Uh, what you need to actually take it off there is with a butcher's knife, which I've got now. But yeah, you've also got these cool little additions. You've got this uh, health tracking helmet, which if you put on, it gives you one bar of health, and it also gives you. If you look in the top left of the screen now, there's a saturation bar. This. Pretty much, if that goes down to zero, it'll start eating your health away. Uh, no, it won't actually. That's when you start losing hunger. Sorry. Um, if you put another one on, it's just more health, and it will just. Well, if you put the chest plate on, it's more health for you. It'll give you um, that give you two and a half more armor rating. So these are pretty handy if you want to keep track of your health in a bit more detail. And I think that is done now. The cow. So once you've got a, because it changes color to red. Once it's stuck, uh, finished cooking, what you want to do is with your butcher's knife, you want to right click on it. And then it will drop whatever it is. So free steak off one cow is pretty good because you normally get one or two. So this way is definitely more efficient than um, actually just killing a cow normally and then cooking it because it will give you more items. Um, so as you can see in the top left, if I switch to my steak now, um, you can see the restore amount is Three hunger bars and the saturation is five. I don't know what the five means, but uh, if I eat them up, well, I can't eat them now. But obviously, it might be five points of saturation it restores or something like that. I'm not sure, but yeah, that's um, that's pretty much this mod, guys. I don't know if there's anything else I can show you. Let me just um, let me just switch to this. Um, oh yeah, there is this, there is this brew. Now, if I just go and double check now. 
it actually heals two food levels that brew um, I'm not sure how you actually make it because there's not there's no recipes or anything with it so um, you might have to figure it out yourself guys but why I've reviewed this mod is be purely because it is it looks really awesome it is definitely Bear Grylls style getting down to the the nitty gritty of killing animals butchering them up and and cooking them over a fire and then eating their steak and pork chops and chicken and and rabbit and sheep so and rabbit and sheep the that's lamb I think and that's is that game or something I think it's called game <laughs> I don't know correct me if I'm wrong guys but um yeah this is this is an awesome mod and I definitely recommend it and this is what I look like wearing all the all that armor and stuff what the hell it's changed how I look what oh it's got a little visor on like if I put that on yeah it's like a little glass helmet that's sick but yeah guys it's been JSQ I hope you enjoyed this mod if you want to download this mod yourself and play it then the link is in the description to the mod page where you can go see more mod details and download the mod yourself this is actually a minecraft version 1.8.9 but I do believe there is a version for 1.7.10 I did see somewhere so uh, that may be a bit more compatible for you guys with other mods because I know there isn't that many 1.8.9 mods out at the moment so um, yeah I definitely recommend this if you want to uh, what's it called make the game a bit harder for yourself and add an extra um, layer of difficulty in the game but yeah guys uh, this has been JSQ if you haven't already please subscribe for more epic content and also leave a like if you haven't already and also comment if you enjoyed this mod showcase so yeah guys it's been JSQ and I'll see you in my next video Peace.